love to pick your brain and hear what your thoughts are on the implementation of artificial intelligence in real estate. Things that, that we're seeing traction with today, um, one of which is kind of building automation systems. So the management of HVAC and, and uh, you know, energy management and things along those lines. Um, uh, the, the domain of, of uh, property management, so sort of broadly the world of, of uh, kind of everything that it, that's entailed underneath that umbrella. Mm-hmm. And then real estate marketplaces, kind of these, these online, uh, you know, recommendation engines, tools like Zillow, for example, these broader consumer tools. Okay. Um, and and the, the areas that maybe aren't necessarily right in real estate but are going to cross over into it are uh, the chatbots and the conversational interface side. You talked about salespeople before we got uh, recording here, Emilio, and mm-hmm. I think that's where eventually that'll cross over. So there's those developments that'll eventually make it into real estate and also kind of predictive maintenance and predictive analytics. Uh, when they get to a certain point, I think they're going to bleed more into real estate too. So there's more realtors than ever. And now things are starting to change. We have more disruptors coming in. So I, I want to specifically speak to that of salespeople. And do you feel that at art, that artificial intelligence is going to be able to replace the real estate agent? No, uh, not in the near term. And I'll tell you why. In terms of, of the real estate agent's job. So there's uh, one of my TEDx's, I'll, I'll make sure to like include it in the show notes for you or something, but my TEDx at URI, so back in our little home state there, Mr. Emilio, mm-hmm. um, was, uh, was all about the kind of the three C's of job security in the age of, of AI. This is a, a meta-analysis of something like, I don't know, 70 or 80 of our interviews over the last two years with people where we talked about the changing landscape of work, mm-hmm. um, and we, we sort of coaxed out three major points. And, and uh, a lot of that had to do with kind of connection and collaboration being kind of those human and hands-on skills. Mm-hmm. There's obviously a lot of that in real estate. This is such a huge purchase. It's such a high pressure thing to be able to manage the emotions of a client and really deeply understand their preferences uh, and you know make them feel calm and make them feel like you're on their side. These are things that are very, very hard for a machine to, to replicate. And so those skills are, are really critical. Same thing with, you know, let's say like a kindergarten teacher or a hospice nurse. You, you really can't have a robot doing those jobs. In real estate, we've got a lot of things that, that machines can't do in terms of um, understanding beyond a simple set of inputs and outputs. For example, if you understand the preferences of a client and you know what neighborhoods to show them to, you understand what the wife really likes in a kitchen, you know, you understand what kind of backyard uh, they liked at the two previous houses. You sort of saw the nudge that the husband gave to the wife after they got out of this other house and you know how to interpret that, right? These are very subtle things. You're not getting a simple written report that you crunch and then dump out a set of recommendations. You're picking up on a lot of contextual sort of flavor and feel of these people. And, and again, a lot of that is kind of beyond uh, the capability of machines, at least today. <laughs>